What's up guys, Big D Wiz, old school stereo.com. Your patience is finally paid off, my friends. Here we have the first true official bench test using the new equipment on the old school stereo test bench. I'm not going to go over all the equipment that I use today. I will make a separate video and talk about all the different components we have here that are involved in making this test bench as accurate as possible for an amateur like me. So anyway, um, today we have the Lanzar 50C. This is the blue model from approximately 1994 on the bench. and. We have both of the 100 amp power supplies at 13.8 volts running in parallel. Four gauge wires as large as will attach to the back of the unit. So we've got both of the four gauge wires going into the distribution block. And then we have the eight gauge wires which come directly out of the Lanzar going into this distribution, uh, fuse distribution block. And same thing with the grounds. We've got dual grounds coming out of the amp going into dual four gauge so we shouldn't have a lot of problem with resistance there and what I've also done is made some 10 gauge wire coming off of the amplifiers themselves uh, the terminals themselves and I've got some uh, nuts and bolts here but what I'm doing is I'm compressing these terminals down so I'm not using the bolt as the electrical contact I'm actually compressing the terminals together and that's how we're we're making contact so that's how it's going to go so today we're going to do a four ohm stereo test all the way down to one ohm stereo and then we're also going to do a four ohm bridge test all the way down to one half ohm bridged so this amplifier is rated to do 800 watts at one half ohm bridge what do you think it'll do we'll stick around and we'll find out Alright, so now we have the Lanzar all hooked up and what we do with all of our amplifier tests is we run the amps for about 15 minutes at about, I don't know, half power or so. And what we're doing that to do is we'll go ahead and warm up the amp to uh, operating temperature. As you can see, we've got 14 volts coming from the power supply and I'll uh, let the amp warm up and then we'll go ahead and start the test. All right, just so you guys wouldn't give me any comments about the amp being mounted upside down, what I did is I went ahead and flipped it over. The main reason I had it mounted upside down is because when the terminals are coming out, it doesn't really mount flat. But anyway, I have raised it up, raised the roof, and uh, it's ready to go. So a few more minutes of cranking it to warm the amp up. It's still cool as it can be. Warm it up, and then we'll begin to test. Alright, here we go with the Lanzar 50C at 4 ohms stereo, both channels driven. 40 hertz test tone. Here we go. Distortion. 45.49 watts before we get distortion. 45.49 watts per channel. All right, now we have the Lanzar wired down to two ohms, all channels driven. And so this is just uh, two of the, or one of the two channels that we're looking at now. So this will be times two for the output. Let's see what she'll do. 40 hertz test tone. There's the detection. Watch the O-scope. Distortion. Back it up just a little bit. 
93, no. 93 point, no, we'll go with 90.99, so that's 91 watts. Clean power, continuous at two ohms, both channels driven. friends now we're doing the one ohm stereo test one of two channels are driven but both are loaded down and since the Vlamon here does not have a one ohm setting we have to use the volts RMS and then we'll just convert and use a little bit of math and we'll get the number so let's see what we're gonna get there's the 40 Hertz detect It's like 13.17 volts RMS. So we'll go with 13.17. All right, now we have the four ohm mono test, 40 Hertz. Test tone, watch the DD1, has the detect. O-scope is slow to react today for some reason. There we have distortion, 190.8. See the light starts to come on at 195, so we'll go with 190.8. And next up is a two ohm mono test, 40 hertz. Lands are 50C. Three seventy two point six. Yep, that's what we'll go with. Three seventy two point six. mono load on the Lanzar Opti 50C, 40 hertz test tone. Again, we're looking for volts RMS here and we'll do the math at the end. It's like 26.66, yep, 26.66 volts RMS. Now we have the big daddy of all cheater amp tests. This is the one that weaker amplifiers would explode, smoke, burn up. This is a one half ohm mono load, which equals one quarter ohm per channel to this beast of an amplifier. Let's see if it can handle it. Nineteen point five nine volts RMS. And here's the unloaded output of just two channels. See what kind of RMS volts we get out of two channels. Thirteen point eight one volts RMS. All right, we've been running the Lanzar fifty C here for about fifteen minutes to make sure it's warm, and now we're going to redo the one half ohm mono test just to verify what we got before was correct. 
So first what I'm gonna do is turn the volume all the way down and show you the idle current of this amp is about 2.2 amps, 2.15, something like that. You should be able to see that on your screen. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna see what the bridged output at one half ohm is. We're expecting somewhere around 800 watts. Last time we didn't quite get there. So let's uh, try it out. Hopefully we won't blow anything up. Nineteen point nine one volts at one hundred and forty one amps. Nineteen point nine one volts. It's a little bit more. We got nineteen point five nine last time. <clears throat> so let's try it one more time just to make sure. Yeah, I think 19.59 is the accurate measurement. 19.91 is when we get 1% distortion. So that's what we'll go with. We'll go with the original 19.59. Alright guys, I'm back with the Lanzar 50C on the bench. You know what, there's just one other thing I said. You know what, I've got to show these guys how this amp can power some subs. I know I've said before that I'm not going to show videos of subwoofers flexing, but come on now. I mean, this is old school, old school subwoofers. They still flex a little bit, maybe not as much as the new ones, but we got to see some flex. So let's check out a couple of songs here from my collection. Let's see how this Lanzar pushes these subwoofers. guys here's one of the most interesting parts of all this these subs are absolutely thumping right now i mean hitting extremely hard shaking the whole old school stereo labs i want to show you something real quick check out the amperage we're only peaking at about 10 amps of current this is what i was telling you guys um, let me turn this down this is what I was telling you guys you know test tones and things like that really put a strain on amplifier and they really pull the amps but I mean if you're playing music even bass heavy music like this I mean you're good you don't have to have so much amperage reserve alrighty folks there you have it the bench test of the Lanzar OptiDrive 50C Ultra High Current Amplifier. An old school gem for sure. Rated at 25 watts by two and a four ohms and 800 bridge at one half ohm. Well, it made some of those ratings and almost made some of the others, but there is no doubt in my mind that this amp still really kicks. Hope you guys liked the video. Stay tuned. We've got more amplifier tests coming up. Maybe you'll find out your favorite old school amp and see what kind of power it really puts out. 
that's kind of my goal here folks test all of my can so again this is big d wiz old school i'm out of here